Thanks, guys. News, what and weather are next. And then AJ Rochester sets the record straight about those fraud charges and being dumped by Channel 10. You're watching today. Stay with us. Welcome back to today. It's getting very close to 8 o'clock. And coming up this hour, AJ Rochester from The Biggest Loser and her attempt to rebuild her battered career. Well, it's been a tough year for our next guest. AJ Rochester was dumped by Channel 10 as long-running host of The Biggest Loser earlier this year. The move followed a highly publicised court case where the TV star narrowly avoided being convicted of 23 charges of welfare fraud. AJ pleaded guilty but escaped with a good behaviour bond. But despite the lows, AJ is trying to get her life back on track. And I'm pleased to say that she joins me now. Good morning to you. Hello, how are you going? I'm really well. How are you? <laughs> More to the point. Oh, you know what? Uh, first of all, don't believe everything that you read. Um, you know, uh, Which bit? Well, uh, there's been a lot said and uh, sadly a lot of it is twisted. And, um, you know, I, I, I do feel that uh, I've kind of been given a hard trot. But, you know, I put my hand up and... Uh, a lot of people don't know that the court case, I was actually the one that four years ago I actually went to Centrelink and said, look, I've been putting my life together, uh, I, you know, I was putting my tax together and realised that I've been overpaid, uh, I think I've been overpaid, I'm not even sure, and they were like, yep, sure, do your records, put it together. I did all that, I paid the money back, and then Biggest Loser was on air, and, uh, you know, four years later it became a court case. And, and So why did it become a court case? If you had cleared the whole thing, well, it's a good why question. was it in court? Um, Justice O'Shane seemed to think that um, there was definitely uh, questions as to why this particular case um, went to court, and um, it, as she did mention in her summing up that it was unusual that it had taken so many years past the event and given that the event had actually happened so many years ago. But you know what? You can't go, oh, poor me. Um, you know, I did make the mistake and my life was a mess and I, didn't, I wasn't taking responsibility for my affairs. And, you know, it's a good lesson for people to go, you know what? As, as tough as things are, you have to just try and do as much as you can and, and get your life together however you can. And, I mean, I'd been struggling for years. People don't know that, you know, before 10 years ago, I was morbidly obese. I was um, really, my life was just such a mess. And, you know, I had my son and it was such a turning point for me that I determined to put my life together. I got a psychiatrist and I literally piece by piece put my life back together. I lost the weight, I took responsibility, which was part of that, you know, going and saying, look, this is what I've done. Yeah. So, look, it, you know, it happened. I endured it. <laughs> it was terrifying. And, and um, I think the hardest thing is when people say things about you that aren't true. You know, that really, I guess, is disappointing because you go, you know, I'm you just human. have to kind of suck it up and, <gasps> yeah. and keep moving forward. Was it a big shock to you when Channel 10 dropped you from the show? Four very successful seasons. This, this last season did incredibly well. Do you know why they dumped you? Well, in actual fact, on the night of finale, I uh, talked to the producers and said that I was planning on leaving. And they're like, really? You know? And I went, well, yeah, I've got some stuff happening in the US. My autism, um, I really, my son has Asperger's and it is such um, a big part of our life. And I'm very passionate about it. And it took me almost six years to get a diagnosis. And I had, life was just so hard when you don't know why your child is the way that they are and all you want to do is make their life okay. To, to get that diagnosis was just an amazing turning point for us and I really wanted to share that story with people and, you know, go, there is hope and, and there's cures and there's ways of living and, and you know, there really is just uh, a, a different way of, of seeing things and, and I really wanted to write my book on autism. I'm um, running an auction to raise money for autism charities worldwide, uh, Magic Wardrobe Auction, which is really exciting. And um, I'm hooking up with Jenny McCarthy in um, America. Who um, has a, a son with autism herself. She, of course, is Jim Carrey's girlfriend. Yeah. And they're very committed to it. So well, yeah. you've, you've obviously got lots on your plate. In amongst all of that, you have been an inspiration and a role model for a lot of young women who have battled with their weight. With everything that's been going on in the last 12 months, how difficult has it been for you? Because I know you've talked in the press yeah. about when you went back for this latest series of Biggest Loser, mm. you had a lot of extra weight on and you did that thing of going out in public and saying, I'm going to lose weight. Yeah, classic emotional eater. You know, um, <laughs> you know I'd been talking about it for years. I mean, part of my healing was learning to not uh, emotionally eat. And 
beating obesity was one thing, but um, learning to maintain has been really difficult. You know, it's one of those things that I think you spend a lifetime being overweight, so it takes a whole lifetime to learn to be healthy. So what have you learned? Uh, you know, I've learned that um, you really need to give yourself a break and you really need to self-nurture in other ways other than food. And um, I think also, uh, you know, I've learned to, to take the pressure off myself. And, and, you know, I've always felt like there's been so much pressure because when I wrote my first book, which was Confessions of a Reformed Dieter, it was just a diary. I was a big girl learning how to not be obese uh, and I didn't claim to be a diet queen or any of that and so it was a very reluctant role that I found myself in and four years later ironically with The Biggest Loser it was like people forget that that I'm just a normal girl who didn't want to be obese I just wanted to live my life and learn how to live healthily and love myself and um, people forgot that and I think that's why for me it was really important to go you know what it's time for me to move on and, and talk about the things that I'm passionate about which is healthy living you know I've run a weight loss support network for women for six years now called Healthy Body Club and you know, I'm really passionate about helping women rediscover themselves and learn to love themselves and you know now for me focusing on the autism awareness and acceptance for my son is you know something that that is long overdue but I couldn't do that until I'd done my court stuff and you know everything is kind of like yeah. it all takes time and for me the court case was really um, putting an end to the life I had lived which was very very different to the life I live now and uh, you know I think taking responsibility for healing my life was the biggest thing the biggest decision I made and it took me 10 years so I think people think that you, you, you lose weight really quickly and you lose, you know, 60 kilos in three months and then it's a magic solution. And people forget that that's a very different element. That's a, a, a weight loss show. Yeah. But in the real world, you know, it takes time. It takes time to lose weight. It takes time to lose weight healthily and keep it off. And it takes time to, to just learn how to be healthy. And, you know, we do see people who lose rapid amounts of weight. Uh, in, even in the real world, you know, they say that 90% uh, of people who lose weight quickly put it all back on in a year plus 10 kilos. Mm. So, you know, it takes time. Yeah. You've got to give yourself a break and, and just take it as it comes. Well, you're a ball of energy and a ball of passion. And, and whatever you do from here on in, I know you're going to make a real success of it. And good luck with everything in Thank the States you. with Jenny McCarthy. <laughs> yeah. It'll go really well. Thank you. Stay in touch. I will. I we'll, will. We'll make sure that we put all of AJ's details on the website for the uh, Healthy Weight Club as well. Thanks a lot, AJ. Thank you. Back to you, Cam. Thank you very much, Lisa, and good luck, AJ. Now, up next, the Hollywood Minute.